Hi to all. Today we are going to see the requisites of before installing the Windows Active Directory services. That is Active Directory domain services. So in Windows Server 2012 and 2008, it was changed to Active Directory domain services. That is ADDS. Uh, in Windows Server 2003, it was called as a ADS Active Directory Services. Or simply, it was called as a directory service or Active Directory Server. So, here we are going to see how to install Active Directory. But before that, we need certain features to be enabled, and we need to have some checklist for installing the active directory so that is what we are going to see so in my next video i will show you how to install active directory so in this video i am going to show you what are the checklists that needs to be get prepared before installing the active directory so at first for installing the active directory you need a standard server operating system for example if you have windows server 2008 or 2012 or 2012 or 2 or 2008 or 2 you have a correct server for installing the active directory so right now I'm going to teach you a tutorial about installing the, act the active directory in Windows Server 2012 or 2 version so Let's see what are the checklists that needs to be prepared before installing the Active Directory. As the first step, you need to check the configuration of your system. For example, I have got a Duo to 3 gigabytes of GP processor and 2 gigabytes bytes of ram and a 64 bit operating system and one more thing you need to keep in mind that windows server 2012 or 2 and windows server 2012 can only be installed in a 64 bit compatible motherboard that is a 64 bit compatible processor so you need to keep in mind that it cannot be installed in the 32 bit compatible processor okay and as a first step what we are going to do here is we need to change the computer name to our desired or planned computer name so I'm just going to change the computer name. I'm just going to the change settings option and here go to the change option and here you need to type the computer name so what I'm going to do here is server this is what I'm going to Sorry, give as a computer name for this system so I have changed the computer name and now when you give ok it will ask for the restart so we need to restart the system to make the changes into effect so I am just going to restart the server I have just restarted So without restart you can't do anything you if whenever you are going to change the computer name you need to restart your system then only you can see the correct computer name was given in that system even if you left as it is without restarting it will ask for a restart if you have made any important configuration in your system So I'm going to log in. So 
So I'm going to open the system properties here. So you see the computer name was changed. So then this server operating system that is a server 2012 R2 is still in the work group and it was not added to any domain. So this is the first step you need to do correctly and the second step is you need to check your network settings to be properly configured. For example, I have a network here. So I have given it as a IP 192.168.1.3 with a default gateway on the subnet mask. Just going to the properties, IPv4 settings, and here you can see. I have just given IP address, and this IP address need to be static IP address so for example if you just give this option that is obtain an IP address automatically then you need to have a DHCP server for this to run so you need to keep that in mind but before installing an active directory you need to have a valid IP address for installing an active directory domain services in server 2012 or 2 version so I have a valid IP address that is a private IP address that is the 192.168.1.3.255.255.255 and that is a subnet mask and then this is the default gateway which I am using and here what you are going to do here is we can see this part in the next video while installing the active directory so you need to keep that in mind that you need to have your static IP address and here you don't need to configure right now before installing the active directory you can configure this we can see this in detail I'm just giving you ok close and ok and I'm just going to confirm that whether the IP address has been assigned or not so see you have a valid IP address here and here you can see that you another option called a, this is called as a IPv6 address so I don't have uh, IPv6 network configured in my system so I can probably remove this option is of IPv6 version so I am just disabling this option I am just giving ok I am just closing it just closing this option now we can see whether it was showing again or not so now it was not showing so you have a valid IP address and it was configured properly so you need to have three things one is a server operating system and one another and the another one is a correct computer name and another one is a valid IP address so these are the main things you need to keep in mind before installing the Active Directory. So thank you for watching the video.